to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Gemma. So today is a little bit of a different vlog. I'm going to show you what I've got from HelloFresh. I've never ordered from any type of um, food kind of website before, um, but I have been wanting to try HelloFresh, Gusto, Muscle Foods. So it might be that we we start doing these over the coming months. So this is the first one anyway. The reason I ordered from HelloFresh is that either on TikTok or Facebook, it came up with a 60% discount. So um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way and I've paid for this out of my own pocket. It cost £26 and for that I got five meals for four people. So it works out obviously quite cheap per head. Um, I've had it delivered today, so I'll show you what we've got and I'll show you the, the recipe cards. Um, I'll pop some details of the website there and I'll be including these in the daily vlog. In today's vlog, I'll include the unboxing and then one of the meals, which we're cooking tonight. And then the rest will be in my daily vlogs if you want to catch them um, in the week. But yeah, we'll let you know what we think of them. The calories are all decent. They're all around 700 or less. Um, and you get, what I was worried about because I'm a fussy eater. So you'll notice a lot of potatoes in this because I don't eat rice and pasta. But what's good is once you've, once you've paid and selected that, you go to end and you can choose your meals. And there is quite a lot. There will be some things that I have to change slightly with what's being delivered, but mostly the the idea of the meal I'll be able to cook. So anyway, let's go to the unboxing. I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's arrived. So two massive boxes. And like I said, this is £26 because we've got 60% off. And this is five meals for four people. So let's see what we've got. So I've got my glamorous assistant helping me so I can film it. So this is the first box. So what have we got? Tell you what, we'll take them out. We'll unbox it all. It all comes like with um, stuff to protect it and to keep it fresh. So um, we will get it out. We'll put the ingredients near the recipe cards. Everything comes with a recipe card, I understand. And like yeah. And the calories, so yes, we, oh, and yeah, that's really good, yeah. So we'll get everything out, we'll put it all together. But like I said earlier, um, I'm a fussy eater, so we've tried to order stuff that I'd eat, but next time we may order more for like Stephen Kids, you know, like pasta and rice and stuff. This is um, an insulation padding, and it says that it keeps the refrigerated stuff fresh, so um, it says to put straight in the fridge, so we'll get these out. Just to say as well, everything's numbered with the card, so it's easy to sort out. So we'll open these bags in a second. So here we have it. I think we've got everything. We've not checked off the list, but it's looking good. Um, so this is the chicken forestier in mushroom sauce, with mashed potatoes and garlic cavolo nero. I'm not sure whether that's a cabbage or a spinach. I'm going to have to Google that. It's got all the instructions on the back how to make it so looking forward to that but they're not stingy with the portions as well because it's like 900 grams of potatoes which for a family of four is what i do kale. right so steve's just said that this is kale which steve's not keen on and the, i don't think i've ever had it well that's what we had when we went to zizi's that time that i liked and you didn't all right um so we've got the roast chicken with red wine mushroom sauce roast broccoli and the garlic mash so just check the ingredients. We are missing bacon, but it's got a box round. Does that mean it's not coming? Oh no! You, oh no! You, if you've you chosen to, to add it, add yeah, that yeah, extra. yeah. So you pay extra if you wanted to add that. We've got the cheese and caramelized onion pork steaks. Obviously, I don't like cheese, so I might put a little bit on just to get the full effect. Um, but I will substitute the peas because I don't like peas and I will put probably 10 stem broccoli with that. Um, we've got korma baked cod and chips with fragrant peas and mango chutney. I'll probably put some mush peas with that, make it a little bit higher calories, but 
it's an easy substitution to make. And then we've got the classic sausage burger with onion, marmalade, wedges and salad. So like I said, they're all potato based, but that's because that's the only kind of carbohydrate that I eat. I don't do pasta or rice or couscous or anything like that. But if we do like them, then we will be looking at ordering more family favourites for Steve and the kids as well. So I'm going to put all this away. They look like they've got decent dates. Obviously, veg um, as a shorter dates than everything else but yeah the meat and that has got the 29th on um so yeah that lasts us a week so i'm looking forward to these i think we're having what did we say we're having tonight steve the roast chicken roast, the top left. yeah roast chicken with red wine mushroom sauce roasted broccoli and garlic mash so steve and kayla you're going to cook this so i will um include this in this vlog so you'll see this being cooked following the recipe card by my lovely assistants. So I'm going to pop all this away and the others will be in my daily vlogs. It's coming up to tea time and we have decided on the roast chicken breast with red wine, mushroom sauce, roasted broccoli and garlic mash. Takes 40 to 45 minutes. One of your five a day. Um, the ingredients... On the list is chicken, broccoli, potatoes, garlic, shallot, sliced mushrooms and red wine jus. So this is all the ingredients. Obviously we've bought this for four people. So there's two chicken breasts in each of these with the skin on. Um, we've got potatoes, there's 900 grams in total. Two lots of broccoli, two shallots, two other red wine packets. Uh, two lots of mushrooms and garlic. So I've got it all out and I'm going to start prepping everything. It shows you all the calories and everything, but obviously if you are calorie counting like myself, it might be best weighing it. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to yet or just go off the actual calories on there. We'll, I'll decide. Um, so yeah, let's go and do the steps. Step one. Fry the chicken, so preheat your oven to 200 degrees, pop a large saucepan of water on to boil, eat, eat a drizzle of oil in a frying pan on medium heat, one salt, lay the chicken skin side down with salt and pepper, fry until the skin is golden, five to six minutes, then turn and cook for a minute on the other side. So as you can see from the chicken, the varying sizes, so calorie wise you would be best weighing them um, it's got a tablespoon of olive oil in there and I've got to cook them for five to six minutes on the skin side and then turn them around for one minute one minute <laughs> step two prep the broccoli while the chicken cooks I'll have any large broccoli florets pop into a baking tray drizzle with oil we're going to be using olive oil I don't think it's calorized on there so I'm going to be putting the calories in separate um, spread it on a single Layer with salt and pepper, pop the garlic unpeeled into a small piece of foil, drizzle uh, foil with a drizzle of oil and scrunch to enclose it. Add the broccoli, add to the broccoli baking tray. Three, transfer the chicken to a baking tray, skin side up. When the oven is hot, roast the chicken on the top shelf until cooked through 18 to 25 minutes. Halfway through, put the broccoli tray on the middle of the shelf. Sorry, my daughter phoned me then. So halfway through, put the broccoli tray on the middle shelf, roast until the edges of the broccoli are crispy and slightly charred and the garlic is soft, 10 to 15 minutes. Step four, cook the potatoes. Chop the potatoes into two centimetre chunks. Peel first if you prefer. We're going to leave them unpeeled. Add to a pan of boiling water with half a teaspoon of salt. Sibber until you can easily slip a knife through them 15 to 20 minutes. And then once cooked, drain in a colander, pop them back into the pan, cover with a lid and keep warm. Meanwhile, half peel and thinly slice the shallot. Step five, make the sauce. Put the frying pan back on medium heat with a drizzle of oil. Once hot, add the mushrooms, shallot, pinch of salt and pepper, stir fry until golden and soften four to five minutes, stir in the water for the sauce, add the red wine jus paste, 
bring to the boil and then lower the heat and simmer until the sauce is reduced by half four to five minutes then remove from the heat Step number six, finish and serve. When the chicken is cooked, transfer to a board to rest for a couple of minutes. Once the garlic is cooled, cut the end with scissors, squeeze it out of the skin and mash with a fork. Add the garlic to the potatoes along with a knob of butter. I'm going to be using clover light. A splash of milk, mash until smooth and then season to taste with salt and pepper. Slice the chicken widthways, then serve on a plate with a mash. Broccoli alongside, spooning over the sauce. Well, that was scrummy I would definitely recommend that and I would definitely get it again um, and I've never really enjoyed roast broccoli but adding the oil and counting the oil obviously made the difference and cooking it on a lower temperature as well so it didn't go so crispy but yeah delicious that thank you for watching like I said it's a bit of a different vlog really really enjoyed that too it was delicious um, I'm not very adventurous when it comes to food so that was quite adventurous for me i've used things that i've never used i've never used real garlic i've always used um easy garlic lazy garlic i've never used shallots i always get onions um and yeah roasted broccoli which was delicious so i never really cook chicken with skin on unless it's a roast chicken and it, it was delicious i uh, mash i've never mashed with skin on but it gave it a lot of texture and I really enjoyed it and the, the garlic mash were delicious as well so yeah really really happy with my first Hello Fresh meal so yeah catch up with us this week we will be doing the other four and they'll be in my daily vlog so thank you so much for watching bye